Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how you can control your avatar with just your mouse only for those who have no tracking solution at all and only just have a mouse and Wadudo. So, pretty much what you're going to do, uh, again, this is a simple tutorial. It doesn't cover the how to do the tablet thing for artists. It's not this tutorial. It will be a different tutorial, though. But... We're just going to do the whole, like, just control our avatar with just our mouse. So in order to do that, what you're going to do, uh, first and foremost, in the description below, there should be a TXT or text file that you'll need to download from my Google Drive or wherever the, um, the blueprint is located in the description. But pretty much you're going to download this text file here and you're going to make sure that Notepad is open. Before we do import this random gibberish into Wadudo so it can work. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the Discover tab here and we're going to download a plugin that will allow this blueprint to properly work. So you're going to go into the search here in Discover tab, type in mouse and make sure that you have the plugins category enabled here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find the mouse position nodes made by Turu and then click on that and then click on subscribe and then it should prompt you when it's downloaded. It's free, by the way. You don't have to pay anything. It's free. So once you click on subscribe and it's all downloaded up, you can then leave the window and you're going to go into the blueprints. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the three dots here. Click on this. And you're going to import blueprint from clipboard. And then what you're going to do is that with notepad open, you're going to select, you're going to click on notepad, then do control A, then control C, for copy, then take your mouse and then click on the blueprint JSON text box here, and then you're going to do Control V to paste, and then you're going to click on OK. Then a blueprint should appear, and it should already start controlling your avatar like this. So there you go. Now, in order to manipulate this blueprint, there are many ways you can do it. So first of all, the float multiplication here. Uh, this, these two control the intensity of your, the intensity of your movement. So if you make this value, let's say I make this to a hundred, for example, it makes the character move a lot more. But the closer it is to zero, there will be no movement. So just keep that in mind. And the negative value just pretty much just changes the direction. So. You know, there's that to consider. So you can mess with the values however you want, but just know this is supposed to be for the intensity. If it's close to zero, that means no movement. But if it's positive or negative, it influences what direction the character will be moving, whether mirrored or not. And then the float clamp is to clamp the range. So let's say, for example, I were to, let's say we made this 100 and this made 100, for example. If I were to, let's say, like, increase these values, um, it's supposed to make, you can make it where, um, I get, like, it kind of depends on how you mess it up. But pretty much, this is supposed to allow it where your character is not going to be twisting like crazy. You're just saying, like, a max value. The default that I've, that is set there should be fine already, so you don't have to really mess with them a lot. But if you want to change with how, like, you know, how far, like, the maximum of how far it'll rotate then you can mess the values however you want. But that's just for maximum for how far it can rotate. And then over here on offset bone, uh, character bone rotation, this is so that way you can say what bones are going to be rotating. You can add an element here and then make it so it can control the hips if you want or something else even, like, I don't know, your leg, for example. So you can make your leg rotate like this. Or you can simply, if you want it to be more stiffer, you could, of course, remove a bone. Let's say I don't want the spine, and I just want it to be, like, head only like this. See? So that's something that you can do. And this could be nice for, like, some cool things. Like, you know, maybe, like, having, like, a silly video of, like, a mouse, like, of, like, a sort of fake 3D viewer or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, I just wanted to, like, um, but this is mainly just for those who who don't have a tracking solution at all, but again, you can have fun with this however you want. So here's the bonus information on having it where you can have the tracking and the mouse tracking, like face tracking and mouse at the same time. However, this isn't recommended according to Turu as you may get some 
weird jitteriness or just weird reactions. But I'm just going to show this anyways in case you really, 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 really want it. So... What you're going to do pretty much is that you're going to have the mouse tracking up here and then between the, uh, this can be a little hard to see, but between the character look at target node, you'll then connect it and then to the offset character bone rotation list here and then this connects to the override character bone rotation offsets node. That's a lot, that's a mouthful of what I just said, but I'll still show you how to do it regardless. So I just want to at least show you the image here, the screenshot, but let's go ahead and I'm going to go into water dough. So right now I have media pipe activated, but you can see that it's not mixed properly. I mean, if you like this by default and if it works for you, then that's fine if it works but otherwise though in order to properly mix it so when you have this imported what you're going to do is you're going to hold the control key and you're going to copy these nodes here so uh control drag only select these guys here then do control c then disable this blueprint by clicking on the eye here then go into the face tracking of your you know whether your media pipe or your iphone i don't care what it is it's your face tracking that you made with water dough and then what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the far right of your blueprint and you're going to find the set characters tracking blend shapes here that will let you know that you're in the right place so just move all the way to the right to the end of the nodes and then move your mouse to the top part of the nodes here the empty space and then do Control v and then you should be able to see the mouse nodes appear Make sure to delete this default character bone rotation list up here if you haven't, so delete that. And then what you're going to do is make sure that you have a character look at target. If you don't have this node, you may want to go back to what the you know character and then redo your mo the motion capture here. If you if there's some nodes that you see that are missing, you may want to redo it again and maybe leave that default settings if it makes it easy. But otherwise, go to the blueprints here. Uh, face tracking and then you're gonna move these nodes around to so these last two nodes make sure to move it to the side here and then what you're going to do is that this line here you see this line this is where pretty much this node is gonna pretty much be in between so you're gonna go ahead and from the character op oh, override character bone rotation offset uh, mouse word a uh, mouthful of words you're going to click on this and then move it over to the bone rotation list here. And then you're going to click on the output bone rotation here and then connect it here. So that way you can actually be able to combine the mouse tracking as like the mouse tracking as well as your actual face tracking. And you could maybe add like a smoothness node in between if you really want. Um, I, I guess if you if you really need to or adjust the settings however you want but if this is what you really want you can do that but this is just for bonus knowledge really if you really want to but that's how you can be able to combine the mouse tracking and the actual face tracking if you want something that what the magic mirror already pretty much does already so there you go but either way though that's pretty much at least in terms of the mouse and face tracking mixture I look forward to seeing like what other people will do with this, but I will say just for credit, by the way, this blueprint was originally made by Tudu. I just had, I just prepared it for you guys so that way um, it's downloadable so you guys can of course use it. But again, credit to Tudu for making the plugin and the blueprint. They're the ones that allow Wadado to have this functionality for the mouse controller. So definitely check them out. I'll leave their socials in the description below so you can follow them and check out other works that they do. And uh, either way, if you have any other questions, you can join the Wadado Discord server for further assistance though. And I will see if I can make more tutorials in regards to the mouse controller for, you know, VTubers so you can be able to do some more crazier stuff. But with that being said though, hope you guys have a lovely day. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!